Hi, in this video I will explain how to tackle a combination of convex lenses that's a compound microscope in this case. We are given the tube length as 20 centimeters. We have the focal lengths of each of those convex lenses and we have to find out the distance of the object from the object lens and we have to find out the angular magnification. The most important sentence in this numerical is that the observer has to see the final image with least stress on the eyes. We write the terms clearly. Capital L is the tube length. That's the distance between the objective lens and the eyepiece lens. F0 is the focal length of the objective lens. O stands for objective. That's 0.5 centimeters. Fe is the focal length of the eyepiece lens. That's 6 centimeters. And we have to find U0, which is the distance of the physical object in the microscope from the objective lens. Now, when the observer wants to see the image at the best distance for least stress, it means that image, final image must be at the near point from the eye. That means capital D is 25 centimeters. That holds true whether we look at a mobile or we look at a book. Here is a quick recap of the explanation for the convex lens ray diagram. The light source is on the left here, so the incident rays are shown as traveling from left to right. That means that from the center of lens, in this case the point marked as O, anything to the right of O will have a positive sign. Any dimension to the left of O, like where the object is right now, will have a negative sign. So in this sketch, the upright object, the arrow, has a negative object distance from O. The image, which is an inverted arrow, has a positive image distance from the point O. In this way, we'll combine two convex lenses and the compound microscope is formed. It's very important to draw a ray diagram carefully and correctly that will help us to solve the problem. So first we draw the objective lens. Here it's yellow color. And at a distance, we draw the eyepiece lens, which is here in green color. We place the object, which is the upright red arrow, in between F0 and 2F0, so that the rays coming in from the left-hand side, the incident rays, form an inverted image shown in beige color. That inverted image is slightly larger than the object. The inverted image should be close to the eyepiece lens. Then when the eye is placed, it will magnify those projected rays and form a final inverted magnified image which is shown in orange color. Now the length L is equal to 20 centimeters is between the objective lens and the eyepiece which is marked here. And this ray diagram is correct because the final inverted image is at the near point of the eye. So capital D is 25 centimeters from the image up to the center of the eyepiece, which is the eye. Also on this ray diagram, mark the terms U0, which is slightly greater than F0. It's between F0 and 2F0. The V0 is the distance for the first inverted image, which in turn becomes the object distance. So that is UE. And UE finally translates into VE, which in this case is equal to D. We now plug in the general equation for each lens. 1 by V minus 1 by U is equal to 1 by F holds for any convex lens. We put the correct subscript VO, UO and FO for the objective lens. And similarly, VE, UE, and FE for the eyepiece lens. In the case of the objective lens, the object is on the left-hand side of the lens, so UO is negative. The first inverted image is formed on the right-hand side of the objective lens, therefore VO is positive. For the eyepiece lens, 
the inverted image becomes the object for that. So the object distance UE is negative, which is on the left hand side of the eyepiece lens. However, the image distance VE is also negative because it's formed on the left hand side of the eyepiece lens. The image distance, by the way, is the near point that's minus D, that's minus 25 centimeters. The minus sign now comes in because of the sign convention. Therefore, plugging in into the equation, we will get UE as minus 4.84 centimeters. So if the inverted image is formed at this distance, then only we will get the final image at a distance D. At this stage, do a quick cross check of the answers with the ray diagram. The distance D is equal to 25 is greater than L is equal to 20, the tube length, which is looking good in this sketch, so we are on the right track. The first inverted image is at a distance UE, that's minus 4.84 from the eyepiece, which is looking less than the focal length 6 centimeters. So the sketch is looking very good. Therefore, we are on the right track to find VO and UO. We now use the tube length L, which in the ray diagram is the sum of the absolute VO plus UE. So here I have used the modulus because the, the sign convention doesn't apply when we are taking a scale and measuring L. So 20 is equal to VO plus 4.84, which we just found out. Therefore, VO is 15.16. Now we can measure UO, which is required in the numerical. Again, 1 by V minus 1 by U is equal to 1 by F. Put in the right subscripts and we get UO as minus 0.516 centimeters. If we check with the ray diagram, it matches because we can see that UO is between FO and 2FO. Therefore, it's uh, in the right spot. We now come to the last part of the problem, that is finding the angular magnification M. M is equal to MO into ME. That is, the magnification due to the objective lens multiplied by the magnification due to the eyepiece. Simple. The MO is nothing but VO divided by UO with a minus sign because the object and image are on opposite sides of the convex lens. ME is 1 plus D by FE for the specific case where the final image is formed at the near point at distance D. Plugging in the values with the correct sign convention, we will get M as minus 151.9. This is the answer. The minus sign shows the image is formed on the same side as the object. I hope you would find this video useful to get confidence in solving problems of uh, two convex lenses, compound microscopes and magnification. Do give your uh, comments, thanks for your time, subscribe to this channel, share with your friends, download the app Physics Models or log in to the website physicsmodels.in. Have a great day. Bye-bye.